I kind of want to do happy fun v. So I decided even if they're not so happy what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dee and this is the optimistic network so it is the holiday season my favorite holiday season which is Christmas I love this festive season I don't know why but this season just put me in a pleasant happy loving mood not that I'm not pleasantly happy all year around but this season in particular put me in a pleasantly happy and loving mood so I've decided to do happy fun video all the way back until after the holidays I don't know how I'm gonna do that but I'll try to fit fun into videos so we can still learn something so today's video is gonna be questions woman ask and I just google some questions like I chose woman because I'm a woman so I can relate to that and I know questions that I would ask and I would know the answer that I'm looking for if I ask these questions not that I'll be asking all these questions I really don't know the questions as yet I just google them so we're gonna jump straight into the video but before we do that if you're new here I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and become a member I post video twice a week and turn your notification bell on so you know whenever I post a video so let's jump right into the questions and I have my phone here so I'll be looking down to read them from my phone just simple questions that women ask I just googled question that women ask hopefully won't be anything too complex it's just simple questions and I'll just kind of talk about them and say you know whether or not I ask this question and if you ask any of these questions you can get active in the comment box so the first question that I have here is what are you thinking but I don't think it's just women ask that question I think everybody asks that question that's a general question is it a question that I ask no that's not a question I ask to be honest, the only way I would ask that question is if I'm having like a conversation, I mentioned something to the person and the person, you know, went quiet, then I'll probably just say, you know, what are you thinking? If it's in my relationship, I don't think I'd ask what are you thinking because that's a general question. To be honest with you, do you really want to know what people are thinking, especially if it's your significant other? Do you really want to know what they're thinking? Not really, because yeah, I mean, some things, if it's a conversation they're having in their head or thinking about life or thinking about, you know, things like that, you probably want to know. But what if they're thinking about somebody else or something else that would make you happy? So that's really not a question that I ask. Question number two is, do you love me? I don't know if that's a question that I've ever asked anyone if they love me because to me I feel like if it's a family member you probably wouldn't ask a family member so it sounds like a relationship question to me so I feel like you shouldn't have to ask a person in your relationship or you shouldn't you should have to ask your significant other if they love you you should feel the love I'm not gonna say you should just know but you should at least feel the love we can tell when people love us they want to be around us they they do nice things for us they do nice things with us so um do you love me I, I can see how a person would ask that because sometimes you if you're in a relationship and a person is not showing love if you don't see the love in action you probably want to question it but that's not a question I ever this one is fun do I look fat I've asked that question before because sometimes you put some things on and you want to know how it look you probably look in the mirror and you don't like how it look and you just are you love how it look but you just want a little confirmation about it so that's a that's a typical question and that's just a woman question I don't know if they look fat sometimes you see some woman they have put on a pound they don't look an ounce bigger thing but they think they look fat and they just always want to know so I can see with that question the next one is do you think she's prettier than me I've never asked that question and I don't think that's a question I would ask anybody because I'm a good judge of my beauty and I'm confident in myself if you ask me honestly I don't think no one is prettier than me and I feel like that's the same attitude that you should have you should not think anyone is prettier than you it's a big world you don't have to compare your beauty to somebody else we're all beautiful in our own way especially on social media now you may see a lot of looks that you compared to yours but think about it you don't know these people you don't see them in person so you're seeing a made up person you don't know what they look like when they take that wig off you don't know what they look like when they take that makeup off so don't compare your beauty to other people that's not a good way to live and that kind of play on your self-confidence too so don't compare yourself I don't compare myself to other people I tell myself I'm the most beautiful thing I'm not gonna say I'm more beautiful than a person but I'm beautiful in my own way and they're beautiful in their own way and women one thing I have to mention we don't have 
have to downplay other woman's beauty to be beautiful. Your friends say to you, hey, that girl looks so beautiful. It's okay to say, yes, yeah, she looks beautiful without feeling like it's gonna take away from your beauty or without feeling jealous. You should be able to compliment women, other women and say, hey, you look beautiful today. Are you, that's a nice shoe, that's a beautiful dress or you look real pretty without feeling like you're any less beautiful. The next question is, what would you do if I die? I've asked that question before. Isn't that a funny question? I've never asked a person if you love me, but I asked them, what would you do if I die? I, I have asked people that like, I've asked, I know I've asked at least one person that like, what would you do if I die? Cause you kind of like, you want to know. I don't know why. I may, I must, I, I may be weird. And I can't even think of what I was thinking at the time when I asked a person that what they will do if I die. And I think I asked that question more than one time because you probably just want to know, like, how would that make you feel missing me? And I think that's what I wanted to know. And that's where I was coming from when I asked that question. Like, what would you do if I die? Like, I want to know how would you feel? How would you feel living without me? How, how would this affect you? So I've asked that question. And I think it's a pretty normal question. A lot of us talk a lot about life, but that is really inevitable and we're all gonna die so a lot of people are afraid to touch on death but i've asked that question and it's not a question that everybody need to ask and i'm not saying to go ask another person that but i've asked that question what would you do if i die the next question is how much do you love me uh i may have asked that question in my younger days like not in a mature relationship a lot of people tell you all the times i love you i love you i love you and you ask them why do you love me how much do you love me and they can't tell you so i think that's not such a bad question to ask how much do you love me because every day you wake up you're telling me you love me you love me i want to know how much you love me and people have asked me how much i love them and i'd always play it off and say like this much to the moon and back infinity and things like that so that's not a weird question how much do you love me it's not a weird question i've asked it and i've I'm pretty sure I've been asked it a lot of times. The next question is, would you still be with me even if your parents think I wasn't good enough? I've been asked that question, even kind of recently, I've been asked that question. And it's, it's a fair question, it's a genuine question, especially in these days when we have a lot of interracial relationship. You know, a lot of people are racist, right. or even if they're not racist, but they don't expect their son or their daughter to be in a relationship with somebody that's outside of their culture, outside of their race. So it's a, it's a, it's a pretty fear question to ask no and I've been asked it. You don't necessarily have to be out of your race. Sometimes it's the same race but you know some parents don't want a child to date a certain kind of guy. They want the child to date a rich guy or things like that. So it's a pretty decent question to ask if you'd be with me if your parents it didn't approve. Here's another fun one. How serious have you been with your exes? I've been asked that question. I don't know. People always want to ask about exes. Want to know about exes? Don't ask me why. I don't exes. know. They want to know how serious you were, right. got married, if you guys live together and all of that. And that's a pretty decent question because yes. especially if you're entering a relationship. So you want to know if the person that you were dating was in love or is still in love with that other person because don't tell me that you break up with a person for a month or two and you've been together for 20 years and you've been in love and then you break up a month ago or two months ago or six months ago and you just don't love them no more so that's a pretty decent question to ask a person you know how serious were you with your ex so you can say oh it was very serious it was my first love i really love that person or so so that's a pretty decent question and i've been asked it a lot but um I, and I may have asked that question i can't remember but i may have asked people that question but i know i've been asked that a lot Another fun one. Have you ever wanted to marry your ex? Um, no, no one has ever asked me that. But that's a pretty decent question too because going back to the previous question, this could help you to to know how serious the relationship that the person is getting out of was. So that's a pretty decent question to ask. Um, nobody has ever asked me that and I've never asked anyone that. But that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a pretty decent question. That's a good question for a woman to ask. The next question is, does your best friend like me? I get this question a lot, a lot. And I may have asked this question like way back in the days when I was younger, but no, I wouldn't ask that question now. I don't care whose best friend like me. If I like you and you like me, it's just us against the world. I don't care about your best friend if they like me. It would be cool and nice if you're accepted by the best friend and you don't have to come between their relationship or, you know, you don't have to interrupt their relationship. You don't have to come between their friendship. But, 
As long as you like me and I like you, your best friend don't have to like me. I don't know if I've ever asked that question. To be honest with you, I do not know if I've ever asked that question. I'm not the kind of person that people just see and don't like you. At first, I may appear a little serious, but once people get to know me, they usually like me. So I've never really had to ask that question. I don't question. know why people feel like your best friend have to like me for us to be in a relationship. In my opinion, a best friend don't have to like you for you and another person to be in a relationship at all. I don't know how many questions I've gone, but this is the final one. And it says, do you still find other girls attractive? Um, I've never asked that question. And I don't think I'll ever ask another person that question, especially if you don't want to know the answer, because I'm going to think that you're lying to me if I ask you that question. If I ask you if you still find other girls attractive and you say no, I'm going to think you're lying to me because why wouldn't you find other girls attractive? There are other attractive women out there. Why wouldn't you find them attractive? If I ask my partner, do you find other girl attractive still? Or do you still find other girl attractive? And they tell me no. I'll be like that. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You're, you're, you're in the world. You're living in the world. You go out and in every day. You must see other attractive women. There's nothing wrong if you're in a relationship and you find another woman attractive. It doesn't mean that you want them, you want to be with them, or you're going to leave your relationship for them, or you're going to cheat in your relationship for them. It just means you're being honest with yourself. She's an attractive girl. He's an attractive man. Whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's not a question that I'm I'm gonna ask I feel like that's a juvenile question that's not a question for mature relationship so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really wasn't expecting it to be so intense it was kind of intense I thought there would be like fun questions where I could laugh a lot and whatever whatever but it wasn't that fun it was kind of real questions like real world like real questions that women so ask. I guess my fellow women are out there asking good ass questions so kudos to you all women and men too so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and be happy this festive season and show love I know it's a little early for the holidays but it's really not because when you go in the store there are Christmas things and Thanksgiving things everywhere so you go ahead and start making yourself happy remember only you can make you happy so have a great festive season and I'll see you Thursday in my next video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.